Hi, this is Christoph Impetiati from Bistech and welcome to this short educational video in which we are going to discuss how to create a tooltip in Report Studio. We will be using HTML objects from the toolbox and then I will show you how to create a static tooltip and then we'll move on to a dynamic tooltip using a report expression. To illustrate the topic, I have created in Report Studio a simple list report where I display for a list of products and between two years a calculated growth. I'm going to run this report to show you what it looks like. I have a prompt where I specify a year. I click OK, run the report, maximize the window and as you can see the list of products, my two years and the calculated growth. And I want to use a static tooltip to display to the end user the detail for that calculation. In order to do that I'm going to use the toolbox and what I'm going to drag in my report it's an HTML item. First I want to unlock my cells and then I drag my HTML item on the left side of that growth for which I want to display the tooltip. I get my HTML item, double click on it and then I'm going to type the following text. I'm going to click OK. I will show you in a minute in a slide the text I've typed. And then after the growth I drag another HTML item to the right hand side of my growth, double click on it and here I'm going to type less than forward slash span greater than to close the HTML tag and I click OK. I'm going to run the report to show you the end result. I click OK after specifying the year I'm interested in, maximize the window and when I mouse over the growth I can display the tooltip and understand more about this calculation. In the example I just showed you, I used the following. On the first HTML item, the one on the left hand side, I type less than span title equal and between double brackets the text I want to display when I use my tooltip. Then on the HTML item on the right hand side, I type less than forward slash span greater than. Now we're going to create a dynamic tooltip. And for that, I'm going to use a report expression. And this is what I'm going to type. On the left hand side, in the first HTML item, I'm going to type the following. Notice that it is between two single quotes, and then after the equal sign, we have a double quote followed by a single quote and then a plus sign. And between the two pluses, I have the query item I want to display in my tooltip. The other HTML item on the right hand side will not change and will still contain the forward slash span to close the HTML tag. I'm going to show you an example now. Back in Report Studio I'm going to use the same list report to show you an example of the dynamic tooltip. So I want to display the product description when I mouse over product. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in the query and add my product description to my query items. And I'm going to go back to the page where my list report is, select the whole list report and in the properties, I scroll down on the properties, you see there is a line called properties, I click the ellipsis and make sure I select the product description I just added. Then I'm going to go in the toolbox and I'm going to select, scrolling down, I'm going to select an HTML item my cells are still unlocked so it's all good drag my HTML in front of my product and I'm gonna click the item and make sure I'm not using a text uh, HTML item but I'm gonna use report expression and then in the line below in the properties I can click the ellipsis and I can paste the text I've prepared before and I'm gonna replace my query item here by my product description from here. And I'm just going to put it in the middle here and I don't need to specify query one in front. So it looks like this. This is exactly what I showed you in the slide before. I'm going to click the validate button. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to drag another HTML item after product. This time this one is just the text as you can see here, a text HTML item. I'm going to double click it and type less than slash span greater than 
click OK. This is it, that's all I need to do. I'm going to run the report to show you the end result. I click OK, selecting 2006, maximize the window, and now when I mouse over my product, I get the product description. Thank you very much for your attention. This was Christoph Impetiati for Bistec. And if you have any questions or if you need any assistance, please give us a call. You will find all information on our website, on this uh, slide here. And also you can visit our uh, YouTube channel at Bistec TV to find a lot more of these uh, short educational videos. Thanks.